Mistress's Avenge, and welcome back to Wings SMP. Today, you might be uh, you might be wondering why we are on top of a mountain, and that is because we are gathering materials for uh, our we have a, we have a project going on. We are helping out Percy build a beautiful space for her future fairy horses, and we are going to make kind of like a a little fairy garden inside of a uh, inside of a hill. So it's gonna be super gardeny, it's gonna be super beautiful, and we need some of this. This is warm spring water and it is healing. Uh, so we are going to grab a couple buckets of this. We're gonna have to come back and forth, but uh, I have I have a little bit of explaining to you guys. Uh, from a continuity standpoint, this series is a mess and I am really, really sorry. Uh, between streaming this and recording them, streams happen more frequently than I am able to edit videos, so it's kind of out of order. In episode five, which was a live stream, we got a pet. This is Rhonda, she's our manticore. She's beautiful, everybody say hello to Rhonda. We love you, Rhonda. Rhonda, you are beautiful. And we have also repaired and enchanted our wings. There was another episode that I recorded before this one, but I never got around to editing it, so I'm just gonna keep it as a sort of lost episode. On our way back home, I will explain everything I did, but basically I just, I tried to get diamonds for these wings and then I couldn't find it so then Percy let me have diamonds which is when we had this conversation about how I am so bad at finding diamonds and then she's like well I could get you diamonds I got tons of diamonds I love mining diamonds and stuff like that so that's why we're building her an area for her fairy horses because I can build and she can gather diamonds so we've kind of struck up a little bit of a partnership so she said I believe she's gonna make me armor uh, and I am gonna build her a beautiful area for her fairy horse so that's basically what you missed. Definitely go back and check out that mini episode that I posted. There was a blooper from a stream. The stream was three hours long, but the blooper was only eight minutes long. And oh my God, it was so funny. So just just go, go, go check that out. That should be the video right before this. Anyways, I have two buckets here. So let me grab a bucket of you and a bucket of you. And we're gonna come back for the rest of this. I just, I need to come back for it. I don't have enough buckets. I don't even have enough iron to go get more buckets. Uh, additionally, I want to go get some more flowers, so... Ooh, okay, I almost panicked there for a sec. Let's get some of these blue flowers that are really pretty. We are like 3,000 blocks away. Um, yeah, we, we went a little far. We're just kind of getting a mix of flowers here. Grab some of these. I also know where a flower forest is, which would be really cute, too. Uh, I saw some mushrooms. We're gonna grab these sunflowers. We're gonna see which direction these sunflowers face. I believe they always face east. So we'll see about that. Grab these. Oh, and the other thing that I want to get her is I wanna get her a spirit tree sapling. There are two ways to do this. That is through trading and that is through killing a bunch of witches. Uh, so we're going to kill every single witch we can find. And then hopefully, we can um, find another village to trade with. That's uh, why I'm flying or walking a little bit more in this direction to see if I have a, uh, a better chance. We can't forget to eat. Also, Pearshi is like constantly giving me food and keeping me alive, so she really deserves something beautiful. Okay, I'm just flying over this way to see if this is the end of an island, and it looks like that's it. Go back behind us. Oh, there's a big umbran forest here. Oh my god, I wonder if that's the shape of a heart. We're gonna go fly over that way, and then we're gonna fly our way back home. We didn't see any other villages, which is kind of weird. Oh gosh, it's dark. It's dark, and I'm wearing, and I'm using shaders. Okay, I'm gonna need my manticore. Oh, I'm also trying to get more spider eyes, and I'll get into that later. Oh, but it's like totally almost the shape of a heart. If we got rid of this hill here, that's so cute. Ooh, village. Yes! I don't think that this has the building I need, but there is a library. So this is actually, I talked about this in the last episode that you guys didn't even get to see. I started working with the Bailey's Daily stuff, where if you do these quests, you can select them. You, uh, you get rewards. So I was trying to get diamonds, but as it turns out, um, you can only get diamonds, I believe, for this dripping in gold. You get three if you give them 15 gold ingots, which isn't bad, but I don't have any more gold ingots. Uh, so right now, the quests that I have are fish carefully, which is catch 12 puffer fish, uh, craft eight fermented spider eyes, and kill 30 slimes. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the slimes one, but I figured I'd take it just in case. The spider eyes. The spider eyes were actually like almost close to. I was looking forever for you. 
Oh, that was on a stream too. <gasps> so much obsidian. I will take that all. Ah, okay. So here is the other thing that happened during the lost episode. Uh, I camped out in this village for about three hours, maybe longer. And um, we kind of started, we did that. Uh, and basically what that is, is it was a way to go fishing so that the fish would kind of just immediately come up. Because they kept, I think because of the realistic mob drops, they just kept going straight up in the air and falling down. So I'd have to like shift over the edge. Um, so that was our fishing area and I still use it. Because uh, I come to this village a lot because my Bailey's Dailies is over there. I hear a spider and I really need to kill a spider. So I need more spider eyes. But you only gave me string. This area actually does usually get a lot of spiders, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look around. Those are pretty flowers too. I see you. Dang it! I need more than string. Whew. All right, there we go. Home sweet home. Uh, let's grab the rest of the building materials. Okay, so in here is where we can build. Uh, her... Ooh, she did a good job hollowing this out! Oh, this is perfect! Uh, alright, cool! So, what I'm gonna do is I kinda wanna build a big tree back here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I wanna build the tree out of. I guess maybe we could use, like, umbrin. It'd be really nice if we can use, like, mangrove wood. Alright, so we're gonna go look for some mangrove wood. I wanna find some, like, flowering vines, but I guess to start, can I bone meal this? Not really. All right, I guess I guess that'll do for now. Uh, we can spam some of these down. I only had two of those. Two. Can I not plant these? We have oxide daisies. Can we plant bluebells? No, we can't. We can plant blue orchids though. And the reason why I'm not doing anything back there is because I want that specifically to be for the tree. Alright, and we just got a few more flowers. Uh, plant that one there. Do a white one there. An orange one there. And another white one here. Okay, so that's pretty much all my flowers. Oh, you know what would be really cute? If we built like a giant... It would be really, really cute if we built a giant mushroom. I don't know if we can build that in here. You can't silk touch them either. I mean, that's already starting to come together. Okay, so I really want to build these little kind of like lanterns coming down. I also kind of want to build this in with purple. I want to leave most of this stone. But what I am going to do is I'm going to replace everything that's not smooth stone with cobblestone. Uh, so that's going to take a bit. But it shouldn't take, it shouldn't be too bad. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick areas... That could use it like that. So that's good. And these are going to be sporadic. Whoops, too much, too much sporadic. Oh, but it's so hard to reach. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, we just gotta go get some, oh wait, here. We just kinda gotta go get a little bit of glowstone. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of glowstone. That is doable. Get a bunch of cobblestone and we're still looking for our trees. Okay, so let's get started replacing some of this with cobblestone. Okay, I think this part of the room is done. The replacement looks really nice. I'm usually not a fan of like filling these up with wood, especially like rooms like this where it's like so, supposed to be super, super natural. Um, I think the most wood I want is really these fence posts and maybe making the tree. I'm actually, I might make the tree out of umbrin. Hmm, I don't know. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll like place like a pile of um, dirt here. We'll place the spirit tree if it grows. And then what we'll do is we'll build the tree out so it looks a little bit more magical and make it bigger. Uh, I wonder if we could just like build a custom tree and just go get the tree hollow. I think that that won't make a difference. I really want to get her a spirit tree because they're really great at getting ender pearls and a couple of other things. I don't know if you can get gold that way. Um, but they're just, they're just genuinely really useful. And, uh, I kind of want, I kind of want to get her that. 
Um, now that I think about it, what else can we do? We need to go get some vines. Vines is our priority right now. Um, and we can also go maybe see where we want the waterfalls to come out. We also need to go get glowstone. I think she said I could borrow anything I wanted from her chests. You can use any supplies in my home. Enjoy. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go see if she has glowstone. If not, I know exactly where to get some, and it is on our way to go get some more spring water. Anyway, she has a little bit of glowstone. Uh, I'm gonna go get more instead. Okay, so I kind of want to make it a rainbow vine tree. So let's just go ahead and grab a couple of these vines that we like. Let's grab some of these purple ones. Ooh, I also like this glow shroom on the side of the tree. I want that. Oh, does it just give you glow powder? Oh no! I wanted the actual... I wanted... Oh. Okay, we got purple. We gotta get her blue. We can get crab apple vines. We can get basically every color vine. So we have... The blue, the light blue and the dark blue. Honestly, those two together might look make a really nice tree, especially with like umbran leaves underneath it. I got this. We're gonna do umbran leaves with the blue and dark blue vines with the oak logs so that when we put the spirit tree log in, it won't look awkward. Break. All right, so we actually now just need, uh, we need some more oak trees and an ax. I also have more flowers. No, these don't place. I'm gonna put these here to grow, hopefully. And then I'm also- I'm gonna use my bone meal on this umbran tree, only because it is going to take up that much space. I'm scared, though. I don't want- I don't want to put this tree in the wrong spot. This is nice and open. Fingers crossed. Oh! Oh! No! Well, let's go fly off into the umbran area anyway. We kind of need- Actually, that's a good idea. We're gonna go back to the Alps area and we are going to um, go get some more spring water. Oh my God, she had spring water already. Well, all right, she's getting a sneak peek. <laughs> We're gonna go get more. Okay, we got some more of the water, but it's very dark and raining and nighttime and this is kind of bad. All right, oh, but there's still an Aurora. Okay, so we need to go back towards the Umbran Forest, but I'm not going back until it's daytime. I shut off my shader so it would be easier, but because it is raining and still nighttime, it is still nearly impossible. Let's maybe just use this one on the edge here. Ooh, okay. Let's go for all this. Ah, oh, village, this is what I need. All right, we gotta find that Bailey's Dailies. All right, girl, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna confiscate all your lights. Oh, girl, no, you stay. Oh, oh. True love prevails! Okay, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll leave. Alright, we are short two. Um, that's not so bad. I would actually like to even get more. So, we're gonna run back. So, I'm going to go to the other Bailey Sailors, not my specific one, but the other one that I know of. I'm gonna go, I'm going to grab all that glowstone, I'm going to grab some of this oak wood, and then we will head back to Parishes and finish up the build. Ooh, a witch. Uh, please. <gasps> oh my god, I got it.
<gasps> oh, that's huge. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I ruined it. Okay, so I need a bunch more spring water to try and level all this out, but it's going to take a couple more trips to the Alps, and it's pretty far away. I got all the grass to grow back. Ooh, even extra mushrooms are sprouting. Yes, I will take this. Put you there. Uh, so I think I can take this one out, and that one is already good. We can replace these. All right, cute. Uh, and I think that's the majority of this. Now, I kind of still want to add maybe like a fairy light seal in here or, or do something else in here. I just haven't really decided what, actually. I'm just gonna make a couple more fairy lights. By a couple, I mean one. While I'm home for a minute, let's see if we can add anybody else to the Sea Star Shore. Today we're going to be adding Skylar Silver to the Sea Star Shore because they actually originally suggested that I get a manticore or another flying animal so that my wings wouldn't break as much and honestly I really needed that advice. Pearshi went and got my manticore first for me anyway before she even knew that I had gotten that comment and I had wanted to start finding stuff for a fairy horse. But honestly that comment was super helpful because I totally forgot that there are different ways to fly on the server than just my wings alone. So Skylar Silver, welcome to the Sea Star Shore. I know I'm actually really liking the owls so we're just gonna keep throwing out some owl eggs. <gasps> we got a snowy owl, baby! Oh, you're so cute and little! That's cute. Okay, and I'm thinking maybe we do something like this. In all the corners. Almost all the corners. <gasps> That's even cuter! Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, perfect. Oh, and this all grew in. Fabulous. Uh, I really just need to go get some more spring water, and that's kind of it. So, I know, I know I said something about a spirit tree sapling, and I know we got one. Uh, I did it dumb, and I didn't know you couldn't break the hollow and not get it back. So, we gotta go get another one. <laughs> But I mean, I still, I still built Perishy this, this cute little tree here. It's still a magical tree, and she still has this, this really pretty spring water over here. Uh, and I think this came out really cute. I hope she loves it. Let me know if you guys like it. Uh, but I think our work in here is uh, pretty much done. I also don't have enough uh, bone meal to um, bone meal this area again, uh, or this area and get better tall grass. But. Hopefully in time I can come back and like secretly add a couple more flowers. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll get it started. Perfect. I'm also gonna come back and monitor this because these haven't grown and that makes me a little nervous. Uh, so I might, like the blue ones are growing fine. It's that light blue one that's not growing at all and this purple one's not growing either. It's growing to the side and up, uh, but it's not growing down, which is weird. So I'm going to come back and check this. <gasps> So I'm gonna come back and check this. Uh, I'm going to probably fix the vines myself or do it manually or something like that. And uh, I'll come back and check on it. I'm also gonna finish the spring water off camera. Uh, but that's that's uh, that's that. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to do. Oh, hello spiders. Uh, and that is craft some fermented spider eyes. Uh, which might seem weird, yes. But, oh, they're coming from here, aren't they? Oh, you tried. Oh no! He got in! He got in! Oh, okay, that was rude. He's like, I'm just gonna go. No, no chance. Uh, okay, so uh, what was it for fermented spider eye? It was some of that and a mushroom. Okay, so the reason I've crafted those is for the Bailey's dailies. Now we talked about it before. But we're actually going to uh, complete this quest. Uh, I finally got enough spider eyes going back and forth between the Alps. And I'm going the wrong way. <gasps> okay. Okay. I am so sorry, Rhonda. I did not mean to throw you. I meant to throw these eggshells. <laughs> My bad! Hello! Okay. Craft eight fermented spider eyes. 
Eight emeralds. I mean, I, oh, thank you. I was hoping for diamonds. They're like practically giving emeralds away, but nope, can't have diamonds. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to see the continuation. And don't forget to check out everyone else's channels in the description down below. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!